Have you ever seen uh, an artist obviously not care about the audience? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. It's pretty yeah. fucking bad. And there's like a whole thing with like uh, like Steve Lacey uh, with that like oh. song he has on TikTok, whatever, mm. like... Where it's like, God, I would be fucking tired of that shit, too. Okay. Like, you can't even hear yourself playing the song because, like, there's a bunch of fucking, like, teenagers. That's a pretty good fucking problem to have. I don't you. know. That seems That's like a, a good, good yeah, problem to have, yeah. but I'm sure it gets pretty fucking annoying after well, a while where you're just like... Yeah, but then you... I mean, that's, that shit made the Beatles stop playing yeah. concerts. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> but but we mean? do have better... They should turn the PA up. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. he just were in-ears and not give a fuck. Change the fucking melody. Do a fucking slow piano version. Really yeah. piss people off. That kind of shit. <laughs> uh, it's funny you mentioned him because the show where I the, the uh, I saw the band The Internet a few years back. Yeah. And I went on a date uh, with this woman and we I took her to see them and it was so bad she asked if we could leave early. And it, and I <laughs> really? and yes, wow. it was that bad. And that it was sucks. I like the recorded. The stuff. recorded stuff's really good, but it was um. And that was like right when Steve Lacey, I think, was starting to his like solo stuff. And he just like had a headset mic. Like his vibe was sick. He had like a Rickenbacker and like a headset mic and some cool shades. And that's like dope. But he sang like shit. And yeah. um, the it he's was not like, like a good he's singer. Not, yeah, yeah. And I don't think anyone in that band's good live. Yeah. It's like weird. And then I think Thundercat's brother was the piano player. And like you could tell he had like... You could tell he was Thundercat's brother. It just in like, or like you could tell that he wants you to know that he's not just Thundercat's brother. Yeah. That kind of vibe. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah, uh, everyone was just so extra except for Sid, who's like the best singer vocalist, I guess, of the, of the group. Yeah. And she was just bent over on a stool, like just kind of like, like, like kind of just slouched over. Yeah. And I, and you know, as a singer, I'm like, that is not good for your. It's not good for your uh, vote. Your, your uh, vocal cords. What's it called? Projection. 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 But um, yeah, that was pretty bad. They didn't give a shit. You know, um, one time I like. <sighs> Sorry, Steve Lacey, if you're watching this. <laughs> well, come on the show. I know he's a fan of the show. Yeah, come on the show, Steve. Um, Let's talk but about I, it. I stole um, some headphones from okay. Steve Lacey's green room one time. <laughs> Why do you admit and... this? <laughs> Because, uh, I don't know, it's something to fucking talk about. <laughs> yeah, statue doesn't But I was, uh, it was like, uh, it was like Tyler, the creator, had put together this, like, little mini festival at, like, the observatory mm -hmm. in, in Orange County. And um, some of my friends were playing in the band Interwave. And so I went and, like, hung out, whatever, and, you know, we were backstage and everything and, like, got to see Tyler walking around and everything. And, um... Steve How, Lacey. Does he have a good walk? Yeah. Good. Yeah. You, you, he's got he's got a good gusto. Yeah, good. You're nice. <laughs> but so uh there Steve Lacey's green room was like right across from from mm -hmm. my, our friend's green room and um he was on stage and we had run out of booze in our green room. So we went to go see look in this other green room and we went in there, stole all their booze. <laughs> and then um I went back in there. I was really, I was pretty fucked up. I was, uh, yeah. I was really drunk. This isn't just what I, I don't just like yeah, yeah. do this. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just the kind of guy to just like go in and start. I was like pretty properly fucked up already. Okay, yeah. Um, I actually blacked out that night. Okay. And that does not happen to me very often. Yeah, 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 there was like all these like notes in my phone that oh, just, yeah. I could not make sense of. And photos that I don't remember taking and yeah. videos and stuff. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't remember how I got home, but yeah, I, but I do remember going into that green room, stealing all their booze, and then going back in again <laughs> because they were still on stage. Uh, yeah, no, and like you remember this part? He had, he had uh, you blacked out, but this part you remember perfectly. I remember like clearly, but he had one of those like little like uh, interfaces for you, that you plug into an iPhone, mm. and then you can plug like an eighth inch into yeah, it yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know. And I'm pretty sure at that time, like he was recording everything on his iPhone. Yeah. So I kind of that. So I didn't, I didn't know that before. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I pretty much stole the little attachment to make it possible for him to be recording things on his iPhone. Yeah, I bet you he was not pleased. He was not happy for sure. Yeah. But I stole his headphones and that. Um, and I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> We're on a first name basis. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a Grammy now, right? Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good, man. He's you're a fine. Grammy. Did he just win? Did he win a Grammy? I don't know. I don't watch that shit. Congrats to whoever did win a Grammy. 
I did hear what Harry, Harry Styles, Styles says, which is pretty funny. When he was like, uh, this kind of thing doesn't happen to people like me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I think, uh, mean I don't that? know what he thinks in me. I don't know. I think he um, thinks he's like, um, he hasn't been in the industry for like, he thinks he's indie. 16 fucking years or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I can't really. This doesn't happen to people like me. Professional musicians I'm on the sure world, like on an international like, like exactly tour. exactly what happens to yeah. people like you. Yeah. Dude, go? you're in a movie. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? This shit <laughs> happens to movie several people. Movies. Yeah. Oh, I saw Don't Worry Darling recently. Oh, you want to talk about it? I saw it too. I don't really want to talk about that. Yeah, much. it was bad. It was, it was bad. really bad. It was weird. It, it was like, uh, I don't know what it was trying to do. It was like Black Mirror but for like, like uh, for white, white women. women yeah. I think that's but, her blank check movie, dude. Yeah, that was her blank check movie. She she's not she's gonna never get one of those. Yeah, again. no, no, it's gonna have to be. But like, it's just funny because it's like she can't write the script or whatever. The, like that's it's not, just so you know. half baked, and it's just like man, they really, they really did think they did something there. Yeah, like she really thought she did something. She was like, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a bounce. Yeah. <laughs> that one bounce. This is fucking sick as fuck, and and yeah, no. I'm, this is going to be poignant. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> the the even like uh uh, there's that scene where Harry Styles is in the car, and like he like turns Florence Pugh in, and uh, they they come to take her away, and he's just like, no, and he like has to cry. And then he like oh, starts yeah. slamming on I'm the shit. I'm sorry. That was they should beat him to death with his Grammy for that yeah. one. That was so. The man cannot act, and yeah. I don't know why they keep uh, trying to put him in movies. Well, because he's a uh, he's a su- he's a very he's, handsome uh, superstar. Yeah, he's pretty to look at, I guess. Yeah, but it was it was weird. I can I like at first, like the movie starts with him. Kind of doing like an American accent, and then with by like twenty minutes in, they kind of just drop it, and he's just doing the British accent. Oh, I didn't even catch that. When is and I, then they acknowledge that he's British. Yeah, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Because in the first like few scenes of the movie, I don't know. Maybe I was just tripping. That was a bad movie. Maybe I was just stoned. But it sounded like no, he was I, trying to do yeah. an American accent. Maybe and then it was just like decided not to do. Maybe it. it's like how Star Wars, like Leia speaks in an english accent in one scene early on in the you know that no so have you heard of all this uh people tripping out about this uh new harry potter game oh people at work all the drama about oh yeah this? there is drama right or like pe- people are just like trying to like cancel and shame like twitch streamers because they're playing the new oh. harry potter video game yeah. and uh you know here's the thing i think break it down baby that bitch is already a fucking billionaire. Yeah. What the fuck do you think you're going to do by not playing this video game? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's also... What do you um, think you're going to do by, like, shaming someone for playing a fucking video game? Well, it, I think it and goes... The, and a lot of this discourse was happening on Twitter. Yeah. Which is also owned by a billionaire transphobe. Yeah. So, like, what the yeah. fuck is, like... Where well, do you draw your line? Well, Whereas, like, what? I think what you, you bring in a good point, which is, um... It's... And that's a, you know, it's like the hip hop, you can either, you know, go at it like people are hip, hypocritical. Yeah. Which is like, that's just being human, I think. It's the nature is, of reality. It's being a hypocrite yeah, on, in some way or fucking, another. It, it just kind of happens. You're going to turn a blind eye to some shit sometimes. Yeah. Um, but what it's I... It's not affecting people. I think though. it's more of a... What could that do to convince people to not be transphobic? Do you know? What I mean? Like, isn't Absolutely that wasn't well, the goal of there's like? No, there's the, no. The goal is there's to, no actual yeah. correlation yeah. between. It's like J.K. Like, Rowling is a billionaire. It's not going to hurt trans people. and It's not going to help trans people. It's very neutral. Yeah. To and, play a video game. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not going to like. They're not fucking going to see J.K. Rowling speak at a college yeah. about how much she fucking hates. Yeah queer people well, you know what i yeah, mean it's, no, like, it's like and she probably does she's a rich white person <laughs> like, yeah, it's like who the fuck like i do? don't know it's just like at this point that whole harry potter is just bigger than jk rowling now. yeah you know what i mean it's yeah. like we grew up reading those books yeah but here's what i'll say say it preach baby i'm not gonna play the video game 
Dude, you're so brave. Not because... So, oh, sorry. <laughs> not, <laughs> not because of some fucking random old fucking rich white lady, British lady. Oh, yeah. I hate that British some part about her. fucking British bloke. <laughs> yeah. No, she'd hate that. She'd hate some being called a bloke. fucking British bloke. Is, a, is bloke gender neutral? I don't think so. I think you'd have to call her a plonker. A bloke. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, what, what the Blake sounded charged. Blake. Yeah, that sounds, uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. like that. It's a little uh, lassie. She's not. Are you a Scottish? Is it that um, just bird? Lass. No, bird. 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 They say bird. The crazy old bat. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, but I'm not gonna play it because it just kind of looks like shit to me. Interesting. I don't know. It looks like they didn't what spend if, enough. What if it was on Game Pass? Time on it. If it was free, I'd play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I, don't I, spend money I, on I it. don't. My whole thing, reason why I'm playing is I just don't give a fuck about Harry Potter. Oh, I, speaking of which, yeah. Um, the first episode we did of this, I was talking about how I was reading. Oh yeah, Harry Potter, and I was I had I was a few pages into the second book. Yeah, just a few days ago, I, I finished the second book. It only took me like five weeks. That's good to finish. Um, One of my friends uh, to finish reading a full book at the third grade. Level. Yeah, one of my friends uh, listened to that episode and she goes, I think your friend might have ADD. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and it's like, she's like, that's actually like a common like trait is like be, having a really hard time focusing while reading. Yeah, well, you know, what actually helped me a lot was um, playing music while I was reading. Mm. It helps combat the intrusive thoughts. What kind of music were you playing? Were you playing just music with uh, lyrics and just, shit? No, yeah. um, like classical yeah, I, Chopin. Ooh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that. Yeah, I feel like you need something like with strings. Yeah, yeah. well, it was like especially because it was Harry Potter. I was like, yeah. I'm gonna go play something that suits this a little. Which one was this? The first one or the second book? Second book. Okay. Uh, well, it gets a little darker. Let's see you know? hear your review of this. Of what's this one called? Of this, uh, Chamber of the Chamber of Secrets. See, I only got halfway through this one as a kid, and I was like, I feel like it's gonna be like the same thing. I only got halfway through all of them as a kid. Yeah. And so now I'm real. I'm trying to go back and yeah. give myself that, you know. So did you like it? Yeah, they're good books. I think. <laughs> Who's your favorite <laughs> character? Fun to read. Um, damn. As of now, maybe like Hagrid. <laughs> just because he's like always like drunk. <laughs> like in the books, he's just like a fucking drunk. Like he's just like straight up a drunk. That's yeah, just cool. like stealing shit and doing shit he's not supposed to all the Haggard time. Hagrid was pretty sick. He's like always hanging out in like a... He like not, flunked not, out of Hogwarts and just they let him stay around. Yeah, he flunked. He, uh, he, well, he got in trouble yeah. for opening the Chamber of Secrets or whatever, but I don't think... Damn. And then it, but it turns out he actually didn't or something. But I don't know. Let's not get too deep yeah. into fucking talking about Harry Potter right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we did Star Wars and Harry Free Potter. That's enough, that's enough of... Uh, you know, virgin shit. Let's talk about pussy. No, <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, wait, I, I, I have something to ask you guys. Yeah. Okay. You know, you go to take a piss, right? Yes. I. Have, yeah. You open the toilet seat mm -hmm. and then all around the rim of the toilet bowl, it's like pube hairs yeah. and shit. And you ever clean your toilet? Yeah, all the time. I have a, <laughs> I have a very clean okay, toilet. Okay, good. I actually have an insane. Okay, like, you need David to know what can I'm attest. About I have a like my toilet water is always blue. I don't know why. Oh, dude, I got I got I got, yeah. I got uh, purple mm. toilet water. That's that's kind of cool. I like the purple. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's fun. A, then nice, you, nice vibe. It's fun to see a nice little color in there. Yeah. You know? But so okay, you ever seen one of your pubes? physically fall off your fucking balls onto the fucking no. toilet rim? No, never. How did, how did they get there? I And I, okay, look. Oh, look, look, interesting. Cleaned, my toilet got cleaned today. There's no fucking pube hairs there. <laughs> I went to take a piss three times today. I've been drinking a lot of water. Okay. I'm trying to drink a gallon a day right now. I'm doing that thing. Yeah. You know, probably I, fall off in a few days. <laughs> yeah. But, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just related to that so hard. But... I want to take a piss three fucking times today with a clean ass toilet, and I'm looking. I'm trying to fucking see when a pube falls off my shit and lands onto the fucking yeah. Nothing, nothing. I have a theory, and I'm gonna try and remember to keep looking because I'm like, yeah. I never see. I like, how does it just fall off so perfectly right on to the goddamn rim of the toilet? Okay, bowl? so here's my theory. Doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, I think that the pube falling. There's a pube fairy. It's obviously, you know, run by the Hollywood media, if you know what I'm saying. Um, the elite. Yeah. 
Um, I think that it's more of it's not about the actual pissing part. Yeah, I think it's when you like pull your underpants up. I think that it's would kind of scraping I think, hair off. Of I your, think yeah. that it's a pube that's in your underpants. That when you pull your pants up, or is it that when you pull it, it's just it, it's yeah, it might pulling yeah, off it might weak, be some sort of weak pube yeah, exactly like the weakest pube. Yeah, <laughs> I think that it's definitely the weakest link. Yeah, the, it's facilitated by the um, either removal or the putting on of one's <laughs> underpants. Man, we got to get some women on this fucking call. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Soon. Anybody know any women? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was in New York recently and I didn't see a single mobster. Disappointing. What happened? Fucking disappointing. Bloombergy bastard. <laughs> Does he have something to do that with that? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like that's that uh, was like, he was here. Bloomberg? Wasn't he running for mayor? No, that's Caruso. Oh yeah, Caruso. <laughs> Dude, Caruso. Whatever, some rich dude. Oh, he was like doing stop and frisk, right? Yeah. In New York. No, that was what's his face. I was thought that, that was Rudy uh, Giuliani. Giuliani, right? America's mayor. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Isn't it, dude? His whole fucking life what story. What a fall from grace. I want to see the guy. dude. Who's okay? Who would play Giuliani in the Giuliani movie? Ooh. Let's cast this. Robert De Niro. No, you need like you have to de-age him. Oh god, like the Irishman. No, I want a guy they put old age makeup on. It's always better that way. It's always better. Um... No, you're right. Maybe, honestly, Christian Bale could probably do it. No, um, he already did Dick Cheney. I don't know. What is a uh, young Giuliani? Who would, I don't know who would be good for that. David, will you get up a picture of Giuliani, <laughs> young Giuliani for us? Rudolph. His name's Rudolph. Isn't that Rudolph fucking crazy? Giuliani. His name's Rudy Giuliani. Rudolph. Rudolph. Rudolph Giuliani. Rudolph. <laughs> Let's say that again. Rudolph. Rudolph. Maybe Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. They just have similar sounding names. Yeah. Does he look like them? Does he? <laughs> I, don't know. Well, I, don't wait, know. I don't know if those two guys look alike, really. <laughs> kind of now. Yeah, now I could see that. Yeah. But I feel like you need younger Giamatti to pull off old Giuliani. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what a sentence. Uh, I feel like we need to go someone like, don't think of like the actor that looks like Giuliani. Think of the actor that could do like such a nuanced performance. <laughs> Uh, it's tough. Oscar Isaac. Oh God, <laughs> that guy has so much smug on his face. Do you know what I mean? No, not re really. Kind of. Yeah, okay. you know exactly what I'm yeah, talking about. That okay. guy has the look of like he's like, yeah, dude, I, I'm in, se I'm in sex addicts anonymous, <laughs> like that kind of smug. Is he a sex addict? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He uh, cheated on his wife with Jessica Chastain, I believe. See, you know, okay, so the sex at this. Here we go. Yeah, let's break it down. <laughs> Who was the first sex addict? Caligula. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, but first person to say, to come up. The idea of being a sex addict was not a thing until. Mm. Um, like the nineties, really? Yeah, and it was um, David, producer David. Who the fuck is the guy? You're the producer. Who's the guy? Look, Google. Fine, who was it. the first sex addict? Fine, I'll do it. I'm to gonna call race. it sex edition. I'm, I'm gonna race. It was um, it was like Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe, <gasps> who popularized was the first popularized sex the term addict. sex addict and sex addiction because he got in trouble for like fucking some teenage girls or whatever, and the best PR. He must have had the most killer PR team. Oh, yeah, probably. Because they just come in and they're like, oh, well, he's um actually has, he's addicted to fucking. And that's why he Welcome was fucking. Welcome to the fucking, club, Rob. That's and that's you, why he was fucking teenagers. Out of, you know, cheating on somebody. Yes, dude. And so it was like, oh, well, he's a sex addict, so you can't really blame him. That's, you know, free pass. Yeah, just be in an open relationship. Free pass to just like, and then, he's, and then all he has to do is be like, I'm a sex addict. I'm going to go to meetings for this now. Yeah, I can't find... And then you get, you you know, and you get forgiven pretty well, much. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, imagine you, you that. Really, you kind of only... Well, I guess, I mean, you can you can only get that one time. Though. You know, it's David like Duchovny... I think David like Duchovny is, a, is another ass. famous sex addict. Yes, David Duchovny was uh, fucking, I guess. Uh, of was California. that like on the set of California Case? Is that what made him a sex addict, you think? I think it because was... Because he was a sex life. addict in the show? I think he was... Or is it based on his I life? think he was cast in it because they knew he had like a history of like being a sexy addict. Is that what it being means? Being a sexy Is it sex addict or addict. sexy addict? <laughs> Advice <laughs> column. It's called I Need Help, 40-Year-Old Man. Oh, uh, uh -oh. This is... 
My case, the case of the attractive coworker, 27, female. Uh-oh. Interesting. I met a coworker at the job recently. It sounds crazy, but after small talk a few days... I like that. It sounds crazy. <laughs> That's not the crazy part, probably. I don't know. Like, bro, I met somebody at a place. It's like, okay. At his place of work. Oh, yeah. It sounds crazy, but after small talk a few days, I got her number. I don't go around trying to get numbers, but something was different about her. We went out for drinks and to watch football. Nothing happened, but I had a great time. The problem is I'm in a two-year relationship with my girlfriend, 37, female. What? The night we went out, my girlfriend was visiting family out of town. This has never happened to me, and I usually don't even... No, I like this. This has way. never happened to me. Bro, this is your doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not a player. That's not my thing. But something is different about my coworker. She's all I think about, and I feel like we got along better and have more in common than I do with my girlfriend. I know that isn't che that cheating isn't the right thing to do. I just can't get her out of my head. When I see her at work, I feel <laughs> like a high school kid with his crush. Everything is about her is attractive to me. Has anybody been in a similar situation what should i do okay <laughs> a lot to unpack here yeah it's a pretty easy okay. answer what the fuck does a 40 year old have in common with a 27 year old they that wanna... you don't have in common with a 37 year old that yeah. you've been dating for two fucking years well, here, there, he, what's going on here well it sounds like this it could be like she likes all the same bands. I don't know. Like, who gives a fuck? Who There's gives a no fuck if you even like the same shit as somebody? anything in common with this chick. What does that he's even mean? He's just a fucking old fart who wants to, uh, he just wants some, let's put it, let's put Here, it in, here's the thing. Be, I'm not going to put it in, in, in harsh terms here. All right, you go first. He I'll wants go. some young pussy and that's all this guy wants. And <laughs> don't try and act like you're fucking some kind of saint. I don't, or I don't know. He's like, not I, acting like he's, he's, not, he's like saying. I'm trying to find the words. I'm thinking faster than my my brain can handle right yeah, now. Yeah, no. But just, you're triggered. Don't don't act like oh, I'm such a good guy and I would never do that. Just fucking shut the fuck up. You want some young fucking girl because you're over dating a 37 year old. Whatever. I say um. Just break up with your girlfriend. I Fuck the 27-year-old. Really I don't care. Fucking quit wasting your time, I Yeah, guess. it's just like, bro, if you're thinking about someone else, like, regardless, like, does it, like, uh, either tell your girlfriend, I don't know, just, like, just don't cheat. <laughs> that's all I can say is, like, whatever you do, just don't cheat. That does not, see, that's not going to be good. And it's probably not good to hook up with a coworker in general yeah. if your job is, like, um, something you rely on for stability. Because uh, <laughs> if you could just quit your job, yeah, fucker, I don't give a shit. But, uh, like, you know, things could get weird. Uh, I think it's funny that this guy was basically just, like, what, what, what triggers me isn't, like, the situation. It's him being, like, kind of, like, subtly trying to humble brag about this, like, 27-year-old girl. That he's she's gonna beautiful. Play. She reminds me of my girlfriend in high school. Yeah, well, that's weird. <laughs> like, bro, Is that that's what he so... said? Did he say something like that? No, no, that? he said he Does feels like she, she makes feels him... feels like a kid again. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, because she's fucking 15 years younger than you. 15 years? <laughs> 13. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you're having a midlife crisis. Yeah, probably just jerk off. Go buy off. a fucking motorcycle or something. I would say just jerk <laughs> off. <laughs> it's easier <laughs> solution again. And maybe, like, if you don't th feel this way about your girlfriend. I don't know. Also, how long has he been dating his... Uh, Two years. He's been, oh, then just fucking dump her and just see somebody else. I don't yeah. fucking know. Like, you don't have to fucking be in a relationship you don't want to be in. These are two different issues. There's three issues going on. It's like, eh, you probably shouldn't be trying to fuck someone that much younger than you if you're looking for someone to have stuff in common with you. Uh, yeah. You probably shouldn't fuck your coworker because that's your coworker and you work there. Yeah. Don't shit where you eat. And if you like, <laughs> don't, don't fuck where yeah. you eat. And if you don't eat. feel the same way about your girlfriend, you shouldn't be with her anyway. Like Speaking if you don't of, feel excited or want to see her, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's like there's three issues and they're all different. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, don't shit where you eat, don't fuck where you eat. You, you ever, uh, what do you think about food play? I was talking to my friend about this the other day. Mm. You ever, anything ever interest you with that? Um, you know, I'm like, I, it kind of freaks me out a little. I don't think it's good to put like food on your genitals <laughs> personally. <laughs> but like if someone feeds me a strawberry, that'd be kind of sick. But that's like, yeah, that's just feeding me food. 
<laughs> like that means that then my breastfeeding with my mom was like foreplay and i don't want to yeah, go down like, that route I don't know, it's just like when i'm horny like food is not on my mind you know what i once mean once you're done being horny damn food is very much on <laughs> once i'm done being horny give me a goddamn cheeseburger <laughs> yeah give me some tacos <laughs> fuck dude but i don't know like uh something feels weird to me about being like tasting food in your mouth while you're trying to fuck Wait, so what is your, what is your those friend? Two, those two stimuli. Well, feel. here's the thing. I feel like, I, like, are you going at it like the Seinfeld style where George Costanza was like eating a pastrami that's, sandwich while he's fucking? Dis- See, disgusting. that's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> that was the most disgusting like, episode of Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, like chewing. Are you, are you just like sneaking bites of yeah. fucking pastrami while he's fucking. That's like the, the grosser. <laughs> that would be, if I was fucking somebody and they just took a bite out of a pastrami sandwich, <laughs> I would fucking lose my mind. I just like. I would be, I'd be triggered. I'd that's, be triggered. Yeah, that's pretty next level. I'm yeah. just like, s- smelling like pastrami in, in your mustard. fucking <laughs> in your bedroom. Sauerkraut and shit. Like, <laughs> it's like already smells like fucking hot yeah, ass. It's yeah. just like throw some pastrami yeah, in there. Yeah, let's throw mix. some fermented. Throw some fucking, Katz's Deli pastrami in there. The, rye, the smell of rye bread. <laughs> like, so gnarly. Um, I think it's a weird thing. Uh, I feel like yeah, your mouth. What do you think about like whipped like whipped cream? So as a vegan, I'm not like putting whipped cream. They got vegan whipped cream. Yeah, I'm but sure. I'm not. It's not the same. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, How would I, you know, man? Yeah, I've had some before. Okay, I've dabbled. <laughs> okay, you really? But you're uh, you, you're that vegan. Uh, yeah, I'm a vegan with principles. Uh, <laughs> the uh, you know me, you know I'd suck some whipped cream off a titty. Sure. Okay. But it wouldn't be my idea. Yeah. And it wouldn't be something I'm like, hey, let's do that again. It'd be presented to you. It would be like, yeah, if it's presented <laughs> to me, she's like, hey, I'd be like, can I have some of that? Then yeah, I would totally, yeah. yeah. I would suck a titty with whipped cream on it if it was presented to me. The whipped cream is just a means to an end. There. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would suck the titty without whipped cream. It's more like an obstacle. Yeah. It's like... It's like, oh, I just, yeah. This is a little more of an inconvenience. And I think my thing like, now, I gotta get yeah. past this whipped cream. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I gotta say, like, I, I started intermittent fasting, so it's like my fasting cutoff is like eight thirty. So it's like, if we're making love after eight thirty, you better not be bringing in you added be sugar. No calories in the no my fucking... added sugar in the bedroom, please. Yeah, You're not intermittent fucking. I'm not intermittent fucking. Not intermittent I'm just not fucking. fucking. <laughs> 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 What's it called when you're just not fucking? <laughs> Uh, star, uh, watching Star Wars videos about uh, Qui Gon yeah, Jinn, you know, yeah. um, doing a lot. I'm doing a lot of uh, chaos magic, if you know what I'm saying. Turns out, uh, you, you know, you can jerk off and wish all you want, and the Bugatti will not just show up in your driveway. No, no. You gotta do. We'll get back. there eventually. Yeah. And then that day, in that day, I'm 80. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Um, yeah, that's wild. Uh, I think it's, you know, that's workplace romance is interesting because it's like you can't tell if it's actually real or it's like a, it's like a, what's it called? Circumstantial where it's like, yeah. oh, in this horrible place where I am stuck away from all the things I want to do. This person's not so bad. <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's like you're just settling. Yeah, it's kind of like you're settling. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I've, I yeah, work I get with, to hang out with, like, someone I'm fucking all day. Yeah, which... Um, that's not too bad. Yeah, but you're not fucking... That's the worst. Someone you're dating. Hanging out. You guys just start yeah, fucking... I, I did date a coworker, but... How'd that go? But, well, here's the thing. I got them the job. Power dynamics, bro. And then... <laughs> Yowzer. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right. Now, I was a CEO at a Fortune 500 <laughs> yeah. company, yeah. and I got this girl a secretary job. Oh, good for you. You're, no, it, yeah, was, yeah. Uh, it was, like... Back in the day, I was working at a coffee shop. Yeah, and uh, she was like a friend of a friend. Mm-hmm. I had a crush on her. I was like, "Hey, you want?" Uh, Did you start she was looking up- for a job? And I was like, "You want this job?" Were you already hooking up? No. Oh, we didn't start hooking up till after. Interesting. Yeah, but um, how did it end? It ended with uh, her dumping me. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. In my bed. In your bed? Yeah, we were laying in my bed. That's gnarly. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a rough breakup. Was it just like out of nowhere? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, breakups. Kinda, yeah. Did you still have to work together? No. 
She had quit this that's job by the time we broke up. Was know? it like what time of day? I'm just sorry if you if this triggers you. No, it was no. like first thing in the morning. Okay, yikes! And like I thought, I thought the night before we had like a really good time, mm, but it was a test. We had really good like sex. Yeah, I feel like I was like it was like yeah, I was, it was like, really I was like damn that was like yeah because that best was sex we ever that had. was goodbye sex. I was like <laughs> dude yeah well I didn't know yeah, it at the time right. but it is the next level. Well, well, and the next morning, she was like I think we should take a break and I was Ooh. like. uh I don't really like do breaks. Yeah. What does that even <laughs> I was mean? Like, you, you just break up. Yeah. Like, you know, I was up. like, well, yeah, I'm, uh, maybe you should just leave then. <laughs> Damn. Told her to leave. <laughs> nice. Uh, but then, like, you know, we hooked up a bunch after that. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, a, you know, those like long term. Uh, yeah. It's an entanglement. Entanglement. Yeah. You're in an, you're, <laughs> yeah. it's not a situation ship. I hate that term. Yeah. It's an entanglement. Jada but, uh, was onto something with that. It's an entanglement, how she says it, so fucking an dicky. <laughs> but respect, I, I respect her for going public with her. She's kind of wrote that she had her own like, hey, I'm a four year old woman, uh, I'm fucking a, like a twenty one year old guy, and with like, her, uh, what is it? I, what is that shit called? She can't like grow hair on her head. Alopecia. 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 Hey, keep Will keep Smith's wife's <laughs> name out of your mouth. <laughs> Someone slap this man. I still think that was the weirdest. I mean, obviously that was a weird slap, but it was like, what a weird kind of slap. I know everyone's talked this ad nauseum. It's like not the first time he's done it either. Really? Yeah. He slapped people before? There was another, there was another, I saw a clip, an older clip of him slapping someone on the red carpet. It was like a paparazzo or something? Or some shit. I don't, I don't remember if it was like a paparazzo or if it was like Interesting. some other person. That's famous. Or how something. can he slap? How can how can <laughs> he slap? But it was like a weird. It was like where it was like kind of playful, but yeah. also not because he was like telling them to stop doing something. Is it like in the Life Aquatic when Ned gets slapped I was by like, Klaus? Dude, like what is what is what is making you think that you can just slap people all the time? I mean, I don't know. You well, you're a Scientologist. You're a multimillionaire. What's up? You put the mic a little lower. Oh. You know, you're Scientologist. You know, got their, your wife's name in their mouth. I guess you know you better slap them. Damn. Yeah, I feel like Will Smith. That's pride. Yeah. yeah, he's uh, I was never the biggest Will Smith fan. I gotta say, what dude? Fresh yeah. Prince? I I watched it. What about my Fresh Prince? I I liked Fresh Prince, <laughs> and I've watched Wild Wild West. Last week, uh, Dave and I tried. Wild, Wild West. We tried doing like a a uh, just a, a Wild, podcast Wild over Zoom. I don't know if any of it's gonna be usable, but uh, <laughs> it was me and Blondie, and Blondie and I were lit, just like fucking stoned out of our minds talking about movies. And we get Blondie on here, yeah, Blondie be great. Yeah. She, well, I think we we can get her now because she. I told her I was like, "Yo, you should come on the show. You 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 always say great things and they're funny, and you, yeah. we need a woman to just like <laughs> we need to balance out those male hormones happening. Yeah, in this a lot room. of testosterone. Yeah. Uh, and we were talking about Wild Wild West a bunch. Yeah. And I was just saying how I fucking that i need i still haven't watched the scene because i feel like it's better in my head but it's when he like goes up to our list love list of the new confederate states uh that little guy <laughs> you remember that have you seen no. oh my god do you have I, I haven't seen this movie in fucking bro it's the guy in the fucking minimum. spider chair he's in a 15 year i probably haven't seen this shit since damn. i came out man I th and you do more drugs than me so i think like that this is ingrained. Yeah, my brain is cooked man this is ingrained in my head like I can't. What was the song that? What sampled? What What did they sample? What uh, song did it's, they flip? I, one of it's for a, that? it's a Stevie Wonder song, and I think another song. It's like two samples. It's not maybe. Gangster's Paradise. No, it's a boom 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 boom. I wish those days too. <laughs> wow, wow, <laughs> West. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not, yeah, it's not Sir Duke. It's uh, um, what's that song called? Because I love him so. Do, 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 I think it's do I do I do maybe no that, no no yeah I saw him play live and he came out before I wish I wish uh, he came out uh, uh in front of the audience before the rest of the band did and he just had a keytar and he just started playing keytar <laughs> and it was Dude. the coolest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life That's just Stevie Wonder going and he's just like hello <laughs> I love all of you. Nice. <laughs> I, I saw him play. Um, I saw him play a little piano at uh, Nam. He's at the Nam show. Was it show. good? It sounded great. Yeah, he was he's just like, he just sat down, just started jamming a little bit, yeah, and then I, the whole crowd gathered around him. I, I ran into him at Nam a couple years ago. The Nam show. I also met him at a Toys R Us. 
when I was a kid. What was he doing at, at Toys R Us? He was buying... Okay, remember? I don't know if... I'm about to date myself real hard, but when I was a child, if you wanted to buy a video game at Toys R Us, you had to take a piece of paper. You go up to the video game area, and then you would take like the voucher for the game, and you'd take it down to the person, and they'd have all the games in the back so people wouldn't steal stuff. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. And I remember looking over, and this kid has a fucking stack of... This is paper. It's Stevie Wonder's kid. Just fucking this thick of just like games. And my brother and I were like holy shit because we're just all about the games yeah and then my mom goes oh my god and we're like what and she goes uh that's stevie wonder and we'd listen my mom played stevie wonder every day for us when we were little kids yeah. so it's like I, we were like oh that's oh well that's cool and i'm from santa monica so it's like you run into random celebrities yeah. just at fucking toys r us yeah and um my mom went up to him after the handler, she was like, can I talk to him? And he's like, yeah, of course. And he go, she goes up to, uh, my mom's so cute. She, she goes up to Stevie Wonder and she goes, Mr. Wonder? <laughs> I'm a huge fan and I love your music. I just want to thank you. And then he got our address and they mailed us a photo of Stevie Wonder with his thumbprints on it as his signature. What? Like to val to, it's like says Stevie Wonder, what and he has fuck? thumbprints because he's not going to sign it. He doesn't know, like you know what I mean. He th damn, that's his signature. He just yeah. thumbprints. Well, just to show that yo, this is next time I go to the yeah, <laughs> see Stevie Wonder. Yeah, ask him. But with thumbprint, my titties. Yeah, I'm gonna be sure to carry an ink pad around. Yeah, with me. he was really nice, and uh, damn. He had he was in his like perfect mid nineties like beautiful long dreads with yeah. like that little he had the weirdest facial hair it was like around his lip like just a ring of shit I think he, he just <laughs> I think he groomed it himself yeah, yeah it's like the, it's like they were like he's like I want to have some control over my look and they're like we got you a stylist he's like I need one thing to say is my own. <laughs> He's like, cut it around here. They're like, really? <laughs> He's just like, He's like, it's gonna look sick. It's weird because it goes yeah. straight up. It's you know what I'm talking about, right? It's just like really thin. It's it just goes right, around. right around his lip. Goatee. It's, yeah, it's disgusting. Circle. circle. Yeah, it's a circle. It's just a mound shape. It's, <laughs> Maybe we can try to pull up a photo. Yeah, we're gonna. There's gonna be a lot Stevie of Stevie Wonder here. <laughs> yeah, no, he was um great facial hair. It's just heinous, dude. Yeah, it's heinous. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. Um, I mean, I can't even afford to live in Santa Monica. I've been displaced. Yeah. Think about that. Think about that one. Everybody. I like Venice, though. Yeah, that's the West Side. Yeah. And Marina Del Rey. Yeah. Not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I like Venice. Yeah, Venice is good. Venice is cool. Venice is great. Uh, it's culture. Yeah. You know? There is. In that neighborhood. Uh, there's um, history. The, uh, what else? What else? I guess there's not maybe five of the best cities. It's probably like three. Yeah. What, what's, another, what's a good East Side city? What do you like? Good neighborhood? Yeah. East Side neighborhood. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> You're talking about cities well, and then, in then, Los Angeles yeah. County. I guess there's only a few. Yeah. Glendale. Glendale. Glendale is a city. Would you put that on the list? In Los Angeles County. Do you think Glendale's a great place to live? Well, he lives there. I think it's uh, underrated. But underrated. Yeah. You know, I've been driving around North Glendale a lot lately. That's pretty. It's really nice. Yeah, Glendale's really pretty. It's uh, Yeah, it's pretty up there. Um, there's some nice Not spots. Not my favorite place still, though. Where are we right now? We're in Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. We're right in between Glendale and Pasadena. Interesting. How do you feel about Pasadena? Uh. Not a vibe. Yeah. I, yeah, it turns out I don't know much about it. As I'm saying, as I got into this, I was like, I only kind of know about <laughs> Venice and Santa Monica. <laughs> and then, like, there's the east side, which is all the same to me, because, like, you know. I just don't go west of Fairfax. Fairfax? Thanks. Hey, <laughs> uh, no, no, you're good. Um, uh, you, well, now that I live in the valley, it's changed my whole perception of like. This. Yeah, see the valley. It's rough. It's so fucked that you live out there. Man. It's so fucked. I live out there. <laughs> Honestly, I like. That's a place I just absolutely stay away from if I can. Well, it's like having lived there. I don't mind being in the valley. But I do like your house. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I built it myself. Oh, yeah. uh, I. Like it when I'm there. That's how I feel about the valley. When I'm there, I'm having a great time. I'm just like, where, where, where is like, where's all the stuff? Oh, they don't. We don't have that. There. Yeah. we don't have stuff. It's just bro. strip malls. Yeah, it's just all. We have first of all, we have the one Burger of the best. Kings we have and Starbucks. We have Topanga, the Topanga Mall, which is amazing. I haven't been there. Okay, well, here's what we got to do. My rule about going to the mall, and I go with my housemate a bunch. I go with Max a bunch, and 
we're always stoned, number one. Yeah. Number two, you have to spend money on something. Otherwise, it's not worth going. Yeah. You actually have to buy something. I don't go to the mall unless yeah. I intend to buy yeah, but something. But you actually have to make sure you're like, uh, I have to make this worthwhile. There needs to be something I know I need to buy here that I only can get at the yeah, mall. See, I'm not going to go. Yeah. And- Unless I know that I need to. Yeah. And then three, something. you got to spend at least an hour and a half to two hours at the mall. Unless I'm just hitting the food court. You would go to the mall just for the food court? Yeah, I do that all the time. Other than that, I, I grew up in the valley and I always, like me and my friend, have like a suicide pact that if we ever move back to the valley, we have to kill ourselves. Okay, yeah. respect. <laughs> and it's like, you know, as a place to grow up, it's... uh. I can understand why you would move there to start a family. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but like growing up there, it just like I resented that so much because of <laughs> how little there is to do. Yeah. yeah. And there's nothing. That's why, you know, you go to the valley and you just like try to start smoking weed as young as possible. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. otherwise you're so bored. And the boredom is really what. Uh, yeah. What kills you. you know? Yeah. Because then that's when you start like smoking meth. Yeah doing bad things that you shouldn't be doing because you're so fucking bored i mean i remember like in high school I was going what's to, wrong with meth every time i went to a party in the valley it was like kind of gnarly i was like man you guys are going a little too hard out here right yeah but it was because there's nothing fucking else to do yeah i feel like a transplant yeah. out there for sure i don't really yeah. i mean i don't relate to the valley lifestyle you can't, there's no like nice little boulevard to walk around on and just like yeah they're run really around you know oh, what i mean it's, it's it's just stretches. There really is nothing. nowhere to walk around there. It's yeah. really fucking bad. We would walk from my friend's house to the Topanga Mall, and we would just basically, people would just come out from the darkness and like either try to fight us or try and like sell us weed. And then there was this time we were walking, and there was this skinhead that came up, and he was like, you know, fucking Doc Martin's buzz cut head. He comes up and he's like, uh, "Are you guys stepping hard?" And I was what like, what the fuck? And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> He's like, are you stepping hard? I'm like, I, I don't know. Do you want us to be? Um, yeah, I feel like by asking what it means, you know, <laughs> it would, yeah, would exactly. you answer the question. Are you stepping hard? <laughs> no, but wh- whatever do you mean, good <laughs> sir? I still don't know what that means. But then he was like, uh, are you guys racist? And we're like, no. He's like, good. Skinheads against racism. <laughs> oh, okay. He was a good guy. He was, a, he was like an anti-racist guy. Oh, that's good. That's oh, nice. Dude, he was <laughs> stepping hard. But it was like the middle of the night, and it was spooky as fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, when anyone's talking to you in the middle of the night that you don't know, yeah, it's usually not good. Yeah. Especially if it's a giant skinhead with yeah. docks. Because that yeah. could go either way. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You're like, oh, okay, either this guy... I mean, I'm skittish around Doc Martin. Either this guy <laughs> hates <laughs> anyone who isn't white, plus Jews. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Or this guy is like probably really nice and loves like uh, what's that band Fugazi? Yeah, yeah. And loves Fugazi and like crass. They're like the straight edge types. Yeah, and that's an interesting. Oh my god, you ever like straight edge scenes? Crazy yeah. to me. Straight edge scene is weird. I think. Bitch. I think if like. Uh, life. I'm gonna sound fucking stupid saying this, but like, X is tattooed on my back of my fucking hands. It's like no one gives a fuck if you're sober. Bitch. No one gives a fuck if you're not. If your personality is most like, of them are just like California sober too. They yeah. like all smoke weed. Well, it's like what, like first of all, like <laughs> that's like the darkiest shit in the world. <laughs> we all hang out because we don't drink yeah. or do drugs, but we chain smoke. Don't they smoke cigarettes like crazy? Yeah, some of them. Isn't that like a drug? Yes. <laughs> this is like that's what like sober people do. Mm. I don't know if straight edge people. What do straight edge people? They they don't have like meaningless sex. Also, is that part of it? They just. Uh, beat the shit out of each other in the mosh pit, I think, is their way That's of... That's their like, So they're closeted. They, get their, their they just want to touch <laughs> each other and, like, are incapable of admitting that... Those guys really, like, just kick each other in the fucking head at those shows, uh, man. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I'm like, and you're not fucking drunk? Right. That's... You, that's, you can't trust that, dude. Come on, man. You're fucking psycho. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Can you imagine moshing sober? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It seems like a very... Like, if you're, if you're like... V- choosing to mosh with like a clean bill of health <laughs> it's just a weird fucking design no, i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm f- fucked up if i'm getting in that pit yeah i mean honestly i don't really get in pits anyway i'm, I'm not the pit size <laughs> you get fucking rocked one time i was with a, a one of my girlfriends from college and we were at this concert and this guy was just kept on like bumping into us and trying to start the fucking thing mm-hmm. 
And uh, he kept on like pushing into my girl. And I was just like, hey, man, you got to stop. And he like pushed me. And I was like, okay, okay, you know, okay, okay bro. <laughs> Not a, okay. Don't be fucking me at a concert. This is when I actually lose my mind. And I noticed that like he was jumping up and down. And his glasses fell off his face. So I picked his glasses up and he looked at me and I threw his glasses into the crowd. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I went, <laughs> <laughs> worked. Nice. Yeah. Because he was like, I want to fight this guy, but I can't see him very well. <laughs> Must have been farsighted or something. Mm. But um, man, me at concerts, I'm like a whole different guy. Yeah, it sounds like it. When I'm not at a concert, I'm the biggest pussy <laughs> ever. <laughs> But you you fight in a in a way that people don't expect. And yeah, I'm a psycho. You, that's how you win. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a clever guy. Yeah, you're uh, it's um, what do they call that? Nonlinear combat or whatever. Or, uh, I mean, I would like. What, what <laughs> I mean, I would do I would do whatever it takes to win the fight. Let's just say it. Yeah. I'll just say that. As you should. I, I'm not above biting a guy's balls off. Yeah. So I might be. You, the, so they teach you in Krav Maga. Really? Pretty much. I I believe it. <laughs> They're like. Go for the nuts immediately. Yeah, you go for the nuts and the shin. They're like, and then no the rules, nose. There's no rules in fighting. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like fighting with honor. Bitch, I'm fighting. I have no, no honor. Yeah. Like, five years. So you're fighting for your life. You're trying to get the fight to be over as quickly as possible. Yeah. yeah. You fucking knee dude in the nuts. Yeah. We, I could tackle a guy's knees out. Guy, blow a guy's knees out? Blow a guy. Blow him. You <laughs> blow a guy. Yeah. Instead of That'll fighting. That'll settle him down. Yeah, he'll be like, whoa. Hey, hey, you're like, hey, hey whoa. <laughs> and you're like, take that. <laughs> take that. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. You, that video? you ever see that video? Oh, with the grapefruit woman? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so Think dope. about that more often. Than okay, here's the thing. Like, uh, I don't know about you, but like. It's disgusting. Have you ever like eaten a lot of citrus and then your lips are kind of burnt? From like too much citrus, you ever yeah, that? yeah. Wouldn't that like your dick skin's pretty sensitive? Yeah, I feel like that would really Probably burn, kind of burn your dick. Yeah. Yeah, Don't yeah. put any citrus near near my junk. It's like, and also like blowjobs are pretty perfect already. Why do you gotta add grapefruit? You don't need grapefruit in there. If anything, add like, <laughs> it's like what fruit would be better? Do you think? I just love when she's like, because when you grapefruit, yo man, <laughs> you gonna remember that. He's gonna, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna remember that. Yeah, he's, he's definitely gonna remember that. He's gonna tell all his friends, yo, she blew me and then jerked me off with a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, marry her. <laughs> Put a ring would on. you tell your friends that that happened? Yes, or would you I, take I, it yeah. to your grave? Well, I'd have to tell my friends because I would have to immediately tell somebody. I'd have, yeah, maybe I'd have to, I'd have to at least tell my mom. <laughs> Be like, mom, something crazy happened. Is this good? Should I have done this? Do I, have to, I don't think you've ever talked to my mom about that. Oh, dude, I've, my mom's a nurse, so like, <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. Yeah, it was kind of yeah, but it's also there's the the other side of that is my mom also has zero filter about disgusting shit. Yeah, so it kind of goes both ways. Like, <laughs> I can be uh, like abhorrent yeah. in her direction, and she'll say something that's even gnarlier. Yeah, like my mom, she's a nurse, so she like I remember I was in college, and she was just like, we went out to lunch one day, and she's like. You have to wear condoms, <laughs> and like I was like okay, and then she, yeah. and she kept on saying that. And I, was I mean, like, had oh, that I talk. Yeah, you know, I was just like, uh, don't be. She, she said, almost verbatim, "Don't you be bringing no hoochie hood rats home pregnant." Damn, that's what my mom told me. Damn, <laughs> my mom said it in a my mom said it in a more East Coast Jewish woman way. <laughs> I was like, I guess I can bring like a nice lady home pregnant. It's just not a hoochie. She has to be God-fearing, right? No hoochie hood rats, though. Yeah, no hoochie hood rats. But those are the best ones, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. It wasn't about the STDs, though. It was about the uh, the pregnancy. My mom was about both. Yeah. She was like, you don't want to deal with that shit. And also, you do not want a kid. And I was like, I don't. Yeah. I don't want a kid. She's like, it's fucking terrible. Yeah. She's like, she's like trust me. She's like, they, trust me. Having a kid fucking blows. It really dude. ruins your momentum. <laughs> It really just stops you dead in your tracks from doing whatever you want with your yeah, life. Yeah, be kind of fucked. Yeah. Me and Annie fight a lot about mm -hmm. baby names. Yeah. We you kind of, we kind of had like a, like a, she got like actually pretty mad at me. Really? Yeah. You wanted to name your kid Benito Mussolini <laughs> Contreras? Yeah. We came to an agreement on um, the name Boots. Boots. Yeah. Like, uh, isn't there that director Boots something? Boots Riley. Boots Riley. Yeah. Bootsy Collins. I don't know. What would I, what would I name And my... then there's the fucking monkey from Dora the Explorer. Ooh, Dora. That's a cool name. Dora? Maybe, maybe I'm naming my daughter Dora. Or Explorer. 
Yeah, Explora. I'll name her Gib- uh, Gibson Explorer. <laughs> Ford Explora. Explora. Oh my God, <laughs> Ford. I'll name my daughter Ford. <laughs> like a Ford. Ford Taurus. Ford Tor- Ford Focus. <laughs> Ford Focus. <laughs> a Ford Fiesta. I th- yeah, I'm driving Ooh, this. Ooh, Ford oh. Fiesta. Honestly, you name your kid Fiesta. That's kind of sick. I'm gonna name my firstborn son Chevy Silverado. <laughs> Ooh, honestly, Silverado is a cool name for a kid. <laughs> Not bad. Not yeah, bad. I like how you like hey, me. I'm like, not bad. No, I'm into it. Prius Rifkin. Prius. Uh, just like her father. <laughs> Ford. Oh, she doesn't get a catalytic converter. Stolen. Oh God, dude. Ford Escape. Guys, I'm still in car hell right now. I know. I'm waiting to. I they have my car is being worked on after that woman t boned me a couple weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah, we didn't. You didn't tell the story. Oh, okay. I'm driving. Uh, I was going to work. I was in Encino on the way to uh, from the valley to Culver City and. The new fresh hell that I experience is like, I guess people are now being forced to go to the office again, like in general. So traffic is extra bad right now until everyone quits or gets laid off. Yeah. And uh, it makes you go through like the hills, like the Hollywood Hills and like Encino and shit, like to get through from. To get around the 405. Yeah, basically. So you have to go up the fucking mountain. And I'm going up this one street, and it's like a three-way stop sign. And I stop, and then I go through. And as I'm going through, in the corner of my eye, I see a woman driving right into my fucking driver's side window. And she, that sucks. Yeah, and she uh, T-boned me, and then... Uh, Break the window? No, but she fucked my door up. And then fucked up the entire left side of my car, because mm. she hit the rest of my car with her side. Did she try to blame it on you? I don't know if she can because of the physics of yeah. the the accident <laughs> but i'm sure she tried because she was very out of it in, in in my opinion she gets out of her car and she's first i stop and i can't believe i'm like fuck like you know that feeling after like your adrenaline is going crazy so yeah. you just saw someone drive into your fucking door yeah and you're like, okay, now this is the rest of my life for like weeks of yeah. just having to deal with this hell. You could have been hurt. Oh yeah, I could have died. Yeah. I pulled to the right because once I saw her kind of make contact, I would like thought out of instinct, just kind of pulled away. Mm-hmm. So if I didn't pull to the right, I probably would have fucking broken my leg. <laughs> um, and uh, she gets out and like, I'm a gentleman. So I go, are you okay? And she goes, are you okay? It's okay. Everything's an accident. It was an accident. I was like, and I'm just like, I guess I had a look on my face of like, sh- like a complete like, uh, 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 you just fucking hit me yeah. really fucking gnarly. And, uh, I got all the information. I take all that shit down. Uh, the funny thing about it is she has a full bandage on her nose. Like the, her entire nose is covered by a bandage, uh, which tells me she just got a nose job. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's kind of what like she looked like she just got fucking surgery on her yeah. nose and like it's a big bandage so it's like that's probably not helping your sight yeah. and also i'm pretty sure she was like very much on vicodin yeah uh but there were no witnesses so i you know mm-hmm. it was fucking stupid <laughs> yeah and then i had to take my car in my insurance adjuster straight up like i hit him up on the the day of and he was like yeah go to this place and i text him the next day didn't respond text him later that day didn't respond hit him up on monday didn't respond hit him up on the tuesday after he didn't respond you getting ghosted i got by ghosted by my insurance adjuster <laughs> so i was like that fucking sucks yeah so like i have to get a new insurance adjuster so it made me realize I should become an insurance adjuster. It seems like you don't have to fucking do anything. Yeah, you just ignore people you, They all day. send you to training. They train you. They send you to some training. And then all you have to do is like clock in, I guess. You don't even have to do your job. That's cool. He straight up ghosted me for five and a half days. I should do that. Yeah, I should check that out. You should, oh, I think it's like I'm thinking ghosting. Is it? I, I honestly, I should ghost you for five and a half yeah. days, actually. Yeah. It, I mean, if you honestly are looking for a gig, there's two gigs you can always rely on. Like, and this is, goes for everybody. You can be an insurance adjuster. Mm. Or a drug dealer. Well, drug dealer is a good one. That's always, you're right. Uh, three. And the other one is you can <laughs> always work a terrible job for the government. Mm-hmm. Like, you can work at the DMV. We got plenty of those jobs. You can work at, like, uh, what's it Dude, called? Dude, every time I go to the DMV, I've only been a few times. Yeah. <laughs> but every time I go, you know, they, you, they give you your number or whatever, and you wait for your number, and you go up to the window or whatever. Yeah. Every time I've gone, the person at the window that's helping me out smells, just reeks of weed. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, damn, you're just very apparently stoned. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. You fucking sm- you reek of Kush right now, yeah. man. Like on the job <laughs> at your government job, bro. How right. else do you like, get not through even, that? Right. But like you know. The to pro- be like that you smell like yeah. fucking weed though is yeah. crazy to the me. problem like, about wow. being high at work you just don't give a shit the worst part about being high at work is like you can't get high when you get off of work like it doesn't have the same hit you've been high all yeah. day yeah. it's like the whole point is getting off work and get a little stone that's like yeah. the one of the greatest things life has can provide i started working us. at a weed shop recently yeah how is it it's been chill are you high as fuck there no is anyone high as fuck there don't think so. Yeah, because everyone's kind of over it, like right. Well, I mean, they're getting high after. Is it that they store around off. here? Yeah, that little one, one? Right here. Yeah, with the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, I do. I bought some weed there. It was great. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a higher end clientele. It was nice. Mm. Oh, well, I'm, hey, doing, I'm bro, doing there. I'm doing delivery. Clientele. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, I mean, compared to nothing, no. But compared to yeah, no, it's chill. It's really jobs. easy. Yeah, it's really easy. They, do you ever get tips? Yeah. That's good. I've been delivering to North Glendale. Oh shit! Yeah. That's where we've been driving. In Pasadena, me so much. and those people tip really nice. Yeah. What's uh? Do they give you any discounts? Yeah. So after two weeks, I start getting thirty percent discount. I like they're like two weeks. Yeah, yeah the probationary <laughs> period. I like they're like so two I'm weeks. Sure, I'm sure somebody. I'm sure <laughs> somewhere down the line, someone showed up, worked one day, got the thirty percent discount, bought a oh, shit so ton of weed. Oh, so that just means weed, you don't have to pay the tax. And then basically. bounced. You uh, actually California now. Or maybe it's just Los Angeles. You can't get fired for fucking having weed on your piss tests anymore. Oh, wow. Pretty fucking sweet. How Which much? is crazy that it took that long. Yeah. Should have cool. happened right when they legalized it. Yeah. The, yeah. It's like you're telling me it's completely legal for me to smoke weed here. Yeah. But I, I can get fired from a fucking job for but smoking I say, weed. Why, sir? Why can I not have weed in my piss, but I can have <laughs> weed in my lungs? <laughs> and that's the American conundrum. Yeah, I remember I got denied a job because I failed a piss really? test. Really? Yeah, man. What job? Like, California. I don't remember. I was like 18. Okay. Yeah, damn. Fucking jobs. <laughs> I wish they would fire me for having weed, weed in my piss in my job. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be my dream right now. Fire me for being high on my own time. <laughs> That'd be such a cool reason <laughs> to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that for being high on my own time. Oh yeah, what'd for you being do? high off the clock. Off the clock, I get fired <laughs> for that. That's so sick, man. The law is stupid. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, arbitrary. Fuck the law. It's like uh, even in Heat, there's this scene where they're like, "Why don't we just arrest these guys?" He's like, "Because in six months, ah, they're gonna be gone. <laughs> they're gonna have a misdemeanor." It's like. This will be out in six course, months. Of course, pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've never done uh, jury duty. I don't plan on it. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. I just got a fucking jury duty summons. Yeah. Fuck me, man. Just go. Just oh, send them, send them an episode of this podcast. They're like, these guys are idiots. <laughs> yeah. I'll, just, I'll tell them that uh, I'm racist. I heard that works. I don't know. That's what my dad always told me. I mean, I don't the know. The trick is like everybody. I did jury just say duty. You're prejudice. And oh. like everybody's trying to get off right and they all know that you're trying to get off and so like i did a case where uh this guy got a dui and he refused to take uh, a breathalyzer which good on him which you should always do when you get pulled over you should always refuse a breathalyzer yeah um because uh and then so all everybody there they were like is there any reason why you wouldn't be able to be impartial in this and they're just like i just think that drunk driving is so wrong and like it's such a terrible thing to do and i don't think like i would be very judgmental of this guy <laughs> and they're like well he's uh you know you're guilty or not guilty until you're you know proven guilty so do you think you could uh put that aside and they're like yeah i guess <laughs> and then yeah i suppose so. you say no <laughs> yeah you say i don't think i ever could do that sir <laughs> but then they got to me and i said well you know it sounds like it's just the word of a cop against the word of this man. And like, why should I believe why the I word believe of a cop just because he has a bad... And then the prosecutor dismissed me for that. Nice. He's like, okay, yeah. so I got to tell them how I feel about cops. Yeah. Just be like... You got to get the prosecution to dismiss you, not the uh, yeah. defense. Because uh, you yeah. were like, yo, because you kind of came in like, it doesn't matter. You're like, like wait, you want me to fucking believe this fucking pig? This just yeah. he says, she he says, she says, yeah. then like, I'm going for the guy without the uh, license to kill. Yeah. Personally. Well, you know, I got summoned for jury duty a long time ago. 
And, How then long? I, and then it was like something you like sign up on a web portal. Yeah. And then they make you wait a couple of days and you have to keep checking in. Mm-hmm. Then I just stopped checking in. Yeah. They didn't give me a warrant or anything. So I'm, 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 I'm oh, do you remember? guessing that I ended Dude, up just getting excused. Some of that. Now I got a new summons. That just reminded me of that whole Johnny Depp trial. Oh, yeah. How fucking amazing. There were some people that were like being called to be witnesses. There was that one guy who was like the. He was like the security guard at the mm. at Johnny Depp's apartment, mm. and he was just apartment. like, "Yeah, he has an apartment. I think he owns the whole building. You know? a, Penthouse, that was called. He's got a studio. Uh, studio. Yeah. <laughs> he lives yeah. off. He lives off Gailey. <laughs> um, he's got a Hollywood apartment. Yeah, he's got a Hollywood. He lives near the Echoplex. The um, duplex. He he was like the door, I guess security guy at his whatever condo, whatever the fuck. It wasn't quite a house, but I'm sure it was like a big ass place. Mm-hmm. The point was there were people that worked there that like, you know, mm-hmm. but he, this guy was being called to like testify and he was like in his car and then halfway through, he just starts driving away during the middle of the thing. Like he's in the, he's on his camera phone and he's just like, they're like, all oh, right, can you tell us more? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just starts his car and he like has to start, <laughs> just starts driving away. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know, it was kind of crazy. And he's just like, <laughs> while he's testifying, yeah, he's straight up driving as he's, he's like testifying. Remote testifying. Yes, he's remote because it was COVID. Over fucking FaceTime. Yeah, because he was in LA. And I think the, this. <laughs> just driving while he's giving Yeah, he was straight up driving. And they were like, uh, are you, uh, is there any way you can pull over? He's like, oh, I have to move my car right now. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. Sorry, right. I don't want to get a ticket. <laughs> yeah, straight. No, I think that's exactly. <laughs> Like, I think it was, like, uh, he was parked in some, like, uh, store parking lot. They were like, oh, bro, get the fuck out of here. Or it was, like, you know, he was parked on, like, the red or something. Yeah. Meter Maid came. But he, like, fucking books it. And it's really funny to see a guy just, like, (laughs) just so nonchalantly start their car. The whole thing was bizarre. Yeah, it was pretty weird. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, this is what happens when you become a pirate. (laughs) Um, Your life falls apart. Yeah. Don't be a pirate, kids. Pirate. You like, remember that scene? He goes, You cheated. Pirate. Yeah. <laughs> I just think of that a lot. You like that? <laughs> I think of, I think this, of that part a lot. I'm I think of when, like, he goes, when that guy goes, weird. Hello, funny. puppet. Hello, puppet. Hello, puppet. <laughs> and she's like, This. Yeah, we're getting to the point where we're just talking. We're just yeah. quoting. Yeah, we should cut this. <laughs> Pirates of the yeah. Caribbean now. <laughs> okay, any well, last words? Um, life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. You never know when you're going to go. And I get knocked down, but I will get up again. Yeah. You're never, never going to keep me keep down. Me down. <laughs> and I'm pissing the night away. Not on somebody. Danny boy. All right. All right. Sweet talk. Love you. Peace. Bye. <laughs>